we're in the midst of a wireless revolution. The speed of wireless internet will be faster than anything we've ever experienced. It's all about the mobile web, having the power of the internet in your handheld device. People want to be able to access the internet at home, at work, or at school. Consumers are driving the bus. The rapid escalation of smartphones and iPads means that the infrastructure has to double or triple and be a lot closer to where people live. Next generation or 4G networks are six to seven times faster than anything we've seen. It's a game changer and the infrastructure is playing catch up. That demand creates a huge opportunity for local governments because their sites are closest to where the consumers live and work. I think the tower program is great because it gives us an opportunity to partner with a local business in a way that provides revenue to the schools and provides a benefit to people in the community in terms of better access to, for their mobile devices, not only to voice but to the web. Private companies partner with local schools, parks, and governments to build wireless infrastructure on their sites. They manage all aspects of zoning, permitting, building, leasing, and management. And the towers are designed to blend in with the environment. Whether it's a light pole tower or tree pole tower, it's virtually invisible. Smart poles are something that we've all come to live with. We know that they're going to be around. Um, if they're going to be around, we might as well utilize park sites. It was a very good program in that we could utilize our existing light poles and not create additional vertical elements in the park, as well as a revenue stream that we're able to generate from the program. There's a number of benefits that the school system has experienced with having wireless infrastructure in the schools, the first of which is it's a great revenue stream. There's absolutely no cost whatsoever to local government. Any new structure requires capital investment, and we end up not having to put that capital investment in place. We still reap the benefits of some of the shared income. Recurring income streams are created. Once the tower is constructed and leased, the revenue comes in every year. The principals who we approach about these towers are very, very supportive of getting them because they like having that money to help fund the things that the system itself can help the school fund. It's really been a godsend for us because especially with the economy right now and budget cuts, teacher cuts, we've used it to improve our technology in the building. At the uh, county level, it's a boost to our budget and uh, I can't, I can't imagine the kinds of things we'd have to look at cutting if we didn't have this revenue stream. Another great benefit of having the wireless infrastructure at the schools is the cell tower does facilitate public communication, which does help the public safety. The primary concern from the community about this program is the health impacts on students and other occupants of our buildings. Our safety and security staff have supported that there is no ill effect from the cell towers. So we see a lot of potential for this program in the future benefiting not only the school system but the overall community. Having wireless infrastructure on public lands also helps speed integration of future technological advances such as Smart Grid. Smart Grid is a new concept that utility companies are embracing. They use wireless smart meters to monitor energy consumption and offer conservation programs. For example, consumers can choose a program that involves running their appliances at off-peak hours to save money. As smart grid is rolled out, more and more wireless infrastructure will be required. Because of the resource implications and because of the expertise implications, outsourcing made a lot of sense to us. So rather than try to create a division of our facilities department whose sole job it was, was to deal with requests to build towers on our property, we decided to partner with somebody who was an expert in this already so that they could do the legwork and then we could switch, turn and focus on our main mission which is educating children. By outsourcing it, they get the benefit of a broad exposure to the marketplace by going through a third party company that's already in the business that focuses exclusively on developing wireless infrastructures. We would recommend this program to other school divisions uh, as a revenue generating program as well as a program that does help to facilitate communication throughout the county and throughout the neighborhoods. Whenever we can work with a partner that knows what they're doing and provides us a check with, with uh, no issues on a regular basis, we're very pleased with that. It's actually been a perfect fit, not only for us, but also the community. This is one of the most remarkable times in wireless history. The opportunities to work with carriers, to provide infrastructure, while developing an income stream for landowners has never been greater. The consumers want the coverage, the carriers want to provide the service, and the government has the sites that are needed. 
Now is the time to take advantage of this opportunity. 